I'm just fucking with you, man. Hey, what's going on with y'all? Fellas, ladies, what's good? This is... You know, I don't know, you know, you motherfuckers know Shoe Nice or whatever. This video is not about him by any way, shape, or form, but he used to do that bullshit. Hold on, let me fix the, the brightness. He used to do that bullshit where he would come on there and talk it, like, he'd be like, and he was like, it sounds not broken, dog. Anyway, um, but back where I'm at, though, New Year's resolutions. What y'all got in store? What y'all thinking about? What's your next move for 2019? TIs, all my peoples out there dealing with anxiety, panic attacks, PTSD, I got you. I'm right here. You know me. Don't forget me. Remember me. I appreciate y'all coming on board. 3,500 subs, thank you so much. It's beautiful to see that y'all keep coming through. Y'all keep showing me messages and uh, really appreciate the channel and supporting it. I really do appreciate y'all for that. I'm I'm gonna be working on some apparel here real soon for the channel as well. Y'all can um I'll get with y'all with that soon once I get that all figured out and squared away. From my man's who actually helped me out with some of this channel as well as far as art artwork is concerned, uh, who will continue to help me out. And I appreciate him too. Won't say his name unless he wants his name to be said. Other than that, I'm gonna keep it where it's at. New Year's resolutions. What are we doing this year, baby? I already got mine set. I have mine set at the beginning of this year. How about you? I'm so happy as far as what's gonna keep happening and keep coming and what my ambitions are, or what my desires are, what I'm gonna go after. My desires and what I wanna chase. It's not cocaine, it's not methamphetamine, it's not Molly, ecstasy, what else they do, PCP, it's none of them things, man. I'm not chasing Mary Jane, nor am I chasing money. But I'll tell you one thing I am chasing, is getting my name out to be known is the way I wanted to be known. Which, in terms, basically is uh, what I'm going after, what I want in life, how I can make it happen, how you can make it happen. Whether the job you're chasing after, whether the diploma you're chasing after, so you can get to where you want to get to, stepping stones of the life, oh, I'm with you, I'm here. Keep maintaining that. But can you maintain what you was doing this year to the next year as well? Or if you felt like you ain't did enough this fucking year that you can do it for the next year? That's okay. Got a test drive before you can buy it, right? And that goes for anything. I want to buy that shit. What's, what's good with it? You said it got electronics. Blah, blah, blah. Why? How? Can I see? Can I touch it? No, I got the drugs in the car. Money's in the back. No, motherfucker, let me see this shit. Stop playing games, yo. You're going to end up in the back room like this. Oh, boy. With a chainsaw. <laughs> we got to put out what we receive, what we want. We after it. We after it for the right reasons. What's your next destination? What you want for next year? The things that you wanted this year, are they possible for next year? Are they realistic dreams? I know a lot of my life, I spent a lot of my fucking time making a lot of unrealistic dreams. And it's not because they're unrealistic because I can't do them or anybody else can't do them or I'm not as good as anybody else. It's because do I really want that? Is there more out there I want? Is it just that? Every day I wake up, I'm finding out who I am. When I, you know what's funny? Uh, when I wake up, I be like, I get like crazy ass dreams and shit, especially when I be smoking butt or whatever. Thinking of shit that's like worrying about stuff. Not really, I don't actually worry too much. I'll, I'll have the feeling, but the fact that like, 
the feelings and the thoughts you have, how you can turn them in, into such a paranoia thought. You got to be careful with that. I do that same shit myself. Through trial and error, learning ourselves, learning who we are. When we feel stressed out, what is this feeling? Why is this happening? What time did it happen? How was I feeling when it happened? How can I compete against this so it doesn't happen again? I mean, even when you're in a situation where you feel like you're almost hopeless, for instance, like a bully running up on you, hey man, break them pockets off, bitch. What you got in there? Break me off something. I don't have nothing, sir. I swear to God, I don't have nothing. Nah, no, motherfucker, you got something. <laughs> Some Debo shit, right? It's an anxiety attack. Every every day you got to wake up and think about this person who keeps robbing you or taking what you got or giving you swishies or taking, you know, pulling your boxes up and wedging you fuck out of you. There's ways you can talk yourself out of that shit, right? Because the people who are doing this to you a lot of the time, they're victims of this same thing too. That's why they're doing this to you. Oh, my dad does this to me all the time, so I think it's okay. They don't mean to do what they're doing, nor what they are doing is right, nor do they deserve a pass. Like that fucking Columbine shooting shit. I'm so tired of sociopaths showing love to other sociopaths. All right, y'all do that. Y'all do that. Do that in a pit of fire where y'all motherfuckers burning. Or let me do some saw bullshit to y'all, some jigsaw shit where I put y'all on the spot and you must cut your fucking neck to get that key out type shit because you deserve that. Or these people not understand. The thing about bullies is that they can actually be repented. They can actually repent and they can actually grow up from what they're doing. People who turn sociopath are not going to change nothing at all. What are you going to do next year? Their, 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 their ambition for the next year is probably after some kind of greed, something to fuck you over, to prove they're right and, they're, and you're wrong. And they continue to do that shit for the rest of the other years that keep occurring because they're never going to change. Those out there who can change are trying to do what we can do to make it to be what we got to do. It don't matter when you say make it. It doesn't mean you got to make it or blow up. We're not talking about that. We're talking about make it in whatever field you want to make it at. Whether you're working at this job, I want my promotion. I've been working for four or five years. I need this promotion now. I get this money up. I'm trying to make it through school for the first year of my life. I did this. I paid attention. I didn't do this. High, blah, 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 blah. You're trying to make accomplishments. That's what we're trying to do for next year. I get accomplishments here. goals, our aspirations. Keep going after them. Don't let nobody get in our way. And if they are in our way, and if they feel like they're trying to stop us from where we're getting to get at, they must know something about that spot. I'll ask some motherfucking questions. At least why are you blocking my way? You must know something. You can learn a lot from people who are trying to stop you or block you or running off of the mouth, crackheads, junkies. You can learn a lot from the people. Don't just blow them off all the time. They're people too. When I first came back here, I was like, what am I going to do this year? I was like, prove my channel. First thing I said when I was back there, I said, my um, make this channel work out, and I did. I did that. Pretty much everything I said I was gonna do, and every goal I made, self goal I made for myself, I did. With that kind of motivation, for the first time in my life, I felt like I actually did what I said I was gonna do, and did it. Not because I couldn't do it before, maybe uh, the universe wasn't quite there with me yet. Maybe I didn't endure enough fucking pain before I was able to move on to what I wanted to do or, or really be able to clear my mind and think and move forward and, and create those ideas that I think in my mind and put them on a piece of paper, whether it's through drawing, writing, or through voice.
about four or five years ago, I had a, I had a, um, my goals written up on this wall. What am I do? How am I do it this year? Let's try to accomplish this by this time, by the date and the time. 28th of December to up to like, I don't know, whenever, two months away. Can I complete these things? If I completed them, I checked them off. If I didn't, it was unchecked. And I made sure I did my thing. I, I, I used to even put exclamation marks on the ones that were the most important goals. My long-term or short-term uh, short goals, make sure they're realistic. Now, when things are termed the realistic goals, we think of things that we see on TV that we really don't want. Maybe we have the talent or the uh, whatever they have that we want or we see. It may not be in that exact field. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're athletic. You want to be a baseball player, but you somehow are better at basketball. Maybe you don't know what you actually want. Maybe you think you're good at this, what you do, but you're better at something else. You ever had someone tell you, I like when you do that, but you're better at this, or I like when you do that, and they call that thing out that they see. You gotta take their advice for it. They're the people who see this, They're the people who are gonna buy your shit and consume it. They know what's best for you at the end of the day. That's why I always say I uh, appreciate y'all. Thank you. Could be here without y'all. And I'm going to keep saying that until I die because that's what it's about. As long as I'm doing what I'm doing to put myself in the public eye, even if I'm sharing what I'm sharing, my heart to y'all, or sharing my thoughts and my desires of, or how we can create something and make something of ourselves, at the end of the day, I couldn't be here without y'all because I'm doing this for y'all. And that's going to pay off for everybody and for anybody trying to be where they want to be at. I got an idea of how I'm going to start doing some newer shit, newer topics, um, and still be able to do what I do. It's by taking snippets of what I see and I feel. Like, if I see a scene in a movie that I love, and I, I'm really good at that shit, because I'll, I'll watch something. A lot of the shit, you guys don't know me, right, in this channel. Everything I say or do, most of the time, like 95% of it is original. There is shit that I say that I've gotten from somebody or heard from somebody, someone who I think is a, a brilliant person, whether they're white, brown, Spanish, yellow, whatever the fuck they are, I appreciate them. And I learned something for if I feel something like that, I will put that out there and then get my logic or my thoughts on it. But it's still fresh and new, but I can still do what I do. As I still keep making more videos, as I get the popularity growing. Like I said, I got um, I got a homeboy uh, who's subscribed to the channel. Appreciate him. Shout out to Europe. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, it's fantastic. Um, this is all I wanted. And this is all I'm going to keep continuing to strive to get. Because I want to do what I do. And I just want to inspire Be somewhat of a philosopher, if I may. Share my pain, share my happiness, share my glory, share my sadness, share my madness, whatever I got to share with y'all. If it's within reason and nothing that's too personal, I'm down to do that. I'm down to go whatever the game take me, baby. Honestly. Certain things I might not cross into. I ain't going to cross into the danger zone for no reason. Not here to break rules. Not here to just follow the rules. It's because, but I, I'll bend them if I have to. New Year's resolutions, man. All this for next year. What we want to do? I want to make sure this channel keeps growing in a nutshell. I want to make sure that uh, everything I said from last year is going to get done this year as, as much as I could accomplish last year. And what I tried to do and couldn't finish, finishes off for 2019. So how you feel? I feel good, player.
keep at it, strive for what we want. And that's what we have to do. And that's what I'm about to do. For all the victims out there going through what they're going through, God bless you. My heart goes out to you. Like I said before, I got a couple things I want to uh, address as far as certain subjects. But next year, a lot of things might change off, but I'm still going to do the same thing at the same time. Remember that. <laughs> I'm not going to start rapping one day and be like, yo, check out my rap song. Look, honestly, this is my thing about rap. If anybody knows me or used to, you know, or some people who subscribe to me, listen, look, I like rap music. I love it. love music in general. Almost any genre. As long as there's lyrics in it. <laughs> and I can understand it. I'm always there. Oh, an open ear. Open creative mind. To do what I want to do in my own mind. As far as chasing that dream. There's a lot more in life that I want to be. Than just that. Or, or even want to be that. I want that to be the last thing that I'm known as. I don't want to be a dead motherfucker on the news and it says, a uh, rapper uh, from J-Ball to get TV. Eh, hell no. That's it? Rapper? Kind of rapper, bitch. <laughs> Gun rapper? Which kind of rapper? I mean, like a rapper. No. Y'all take it easy out there. Y'all be safe. I'll be back with y'all for the next one. And uh, just make sure to keep liking and subscribing. Show. Peace.